Jamboree. You think I'm talking here, right? You think I'm talking here? But I pull my head off. You are my friends! Tell me who my friends are now! Put that thing away. You're going to hurt yourself. Put that money away, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Not your son. You caused me so much pain. You sent in my way. Now she has got into the hands of another man. A man that proposed to her just with today. Why did you cause me so much pain? I'm sorry, I'm not going to deserve your forgiveness. I find it in your heart to forgive me and I have sinned against you. Forgive me. I should forgive you. Right. Now you tell us. Who are his parents? Unless we are his parents. You're my mother. I am your mother. You're my mother. And yet you cost me so much pain. Do you know what I sent away? You do not let Chief Anthony Ugochuko take care of any of motors. What? what? Do you want to find out? What? Hey, what is what? I don't know. Your man is the daughter of a you Omoto CEO that you called classless? I am sorry, I didn't know. Ah. I'm sorry, after, after ruining my life. After taking away my happiness. Daddy! You're so. Daddy! Don't do it. Please, please, don't just don't do it. Don't. Come on. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a place. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh. Why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material thing. Lovers, can I go for who I Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Thank you, ma'am. Is there another one you want to get for you? Thank you, this is fine. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. I think I'll go back to what I was saying before. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, hi, my beautiful daughter in law. She is good. I can't wait for my son to come back from the UK so that they can get married and start building a family of their own. That's been our endless desire. I can't wait to see that son to I know. I personally want my son. I don't want him to marry a white woman. Yeah, because I will never accept a white woman in this house. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm meow, meow, meow. What's that? What's that? Professor. Yes, I want our woman. Hmm. You're African. I'm Africa. Yes. Finish, don't add with <laughs> I don't ask who you did this, I don't add with you, you, you don't have with <laughs> You don't remember me. Who is this? Madam Stella's daughter, Ijo. Ah ah! Ijo! 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 Ah ah! Ijo!
Now one guy when they beat me for sin, I make you remember. Mm. <laughs> you say I bet like this, you will not beat me. Mm, yeah. How are you there? You know it's the fine. Hey. Yes, my mother. Okay, she did my hair. Yes, you. Hi, hey, welcome, eh? Thanks. I don't talk to them if I hear I'm in the books. I didn't tell you. Huh? Since you're fresh, I appreciate this guest where you deal. You know nothing God do for you. They give you food money after the night. Yes, I appreciate it. I didn't tell you, many students you know they see food chop. Nothing come on. Yes, I appreciate this position. Yes, yes, you just left for school. You were here during the weekend. And you're back. Yes. What brings you? Tuition fee. Huh? Tuition fee. This is not a good time to ask for money. And you know it. Oh, Mama, I told you now. I told you the last time I came that they said if any, anybody that does not pay his or her tuition fee will not be allowed to write the examination. And this is my final year exam. Hey, Jama. Ma. You and I know too well that this is the middle of the month. And my salary is not due for payment. Uh, Mama, you can go and meet the doctor and prof. Tell them that your daughter is in dear need of the money. That your daughter needs to pay her tuition fee so that she can write her final year exam. See, Mama, there's a way you will place your mouth. There is a way you will explain to them. These people will know that this thing. There's a, they will know that they will know the gravity. They will understand that the daughter is in dear need of that money. Final year exam, Mama. Mm -hmm. Explain to them. Sugar coat it in a way. I do, you are a mother. You know how to explain something so that somebody's heart is flying. Yes, thank you very much, preacher. See the way you're arranging it. He's coming out of your mind like tap. You just flow it. No full stop, no comma, nothing. No, I was explaining. I know you're explaining. I know you're explaining. I cannot do that. Do you understand me? I cannot do that. But mama, mama, see, I, I, this thing is very important too. I need to pay my, 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 my tuition fee so I can write my final year exam. You, you know, you already know this. And you have to just help me out. Yes, so all the all the money that you'll be spending all these years, it will be a way to. Yeah, you want me to have extra year? Which year? Hey, Jama! Ah, go back to the school. Beg your teacher. Tell him to allow you to write your exam. Tell him that your mother is coming to pay at the end of the month. Professor, let me be on my way. If I stand here, we'll continue to cheat. Just keep <laughs> saying it and discussing and having fun. And let's talk. Ah, it was nice talking with you. Let me be on my way. My regards to Honorable and Rachel. Tell her particular that I love her so much. She loves it too. And she will hear. Safe, okay? Alright. Alright. Victor! Open the game for her! Mama, please. I cannot wait till the end of the month. Seriously, Mama, this is very important to me. This is my final year exam. I'm begging you, please, Mama. Don't know how you will go and meet for beg her. Beg her so that she'll be able to give me the money on time. Please. Tell them, explain to them how, how serious this case is. I'm begging you. I should go and meet you for. Yeah. And you know what she is. Go to the doctor. Hey, Jama. No. Prof. Employ me, not doctor. Don't tell them. Entreat to them now. Mama, where are you going to go and tell them? Mama, please, I'm begging you. This thing is very important to me. Please. This is my final year exam, Mama. Eh? Please, don't be careful. Chief. I'm fine, sir. I hope everything is just fine. Welcome, sir. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I hope my wife is back. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Son? Yes, the Silito and our family, we have planned a grand wedding for you and their daughter. Yes, a lot of signatures will be in our country. You will enjoy the wedding, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
That is why we call it work. Every work has its own uh, attendant stress. Yeah. What do I call it? That is your usual word. And let's patronize me small. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we go to the hospital? Everything went well? So far so good. Welcome, Welcome back. Yeah. Looking beautiful as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mama, now that the doctor is back, I think this is the right time to talk to Prof in his presence. It will be more fruitful. She will not refuse. You know what to do. Mama, do you have another plan? Yes. What is this plan? I'll go and borrow money. And I will pay when I get my salary. Mama, do you think that's the best idea? I think so. Why? I don't want them to see us as slaves. You are right, Mama. I think that's the best idea. I want you to write your final results and come out with flying colors, good grades. Finish your NYSC. Get a very good job. Good job, I'm old. I need to rest. Mama, I, I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've been doing for us. You have been there for us since Papa died. Thank you. What I'm doing is for you to be able to take care of your younger ones. What? Mama, I, I promise you, I'm going to try my best to come out in flying colors, get a good job, and take good care of you and my younger ones. Thank you, Mama.
So tell me, what level are you in? I'm a 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 you know, as if I have the money stopped somewhere. Is that how you become your mother ah. out of money? Yes, sir, she has not paid my tuition fee. And without it, I cannot write for her name. Stella, don't worry. You don't look like that. Hmm? Anyways, uh, is your money. I will give 100,000 naira to you. Yes, sir! Why are you screaming? Sir! Uh, so that you can take care of the tuition you talked about and then get yourself some other things. Papa, thank God you bless you. On top of the one that already blessed you, God will continue to post all the work of your hands. You will never know a better yesterday, sir. Sir, thank you. You don't know what you have done for us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Officer. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Oh, and this is another thousand. I was thinking of going to borrow money for you, you know. Whatever it is, you come from stuff like this. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God replenish your pocket. Add more money, more money. More money, more money to you. Bro, you are so crying. You don't have that. Bro, you are so crying. You are so crying. You are so crying. You are so crying. This girl. Taking care of his widow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to focus. I want you to prepare for your exams, please. Mm -hmm. I want you to make me a proud mother. Pico. I will, mean, Mama. Mama, say me well to my younger brother. They will hear. You trust me now. I miss you too. I'm missing you already. Hmm? Take care of yourself. And oh. I love you, my daughter. Let's go. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh my man. You guys are so proud of you, man. My brother, you killed us. Come on, you. Bro, look at you. So fresh. 
I beg you, you say, are you, are you not fresh? <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm surprised you came back alone. Wait, I don't understand. I traveled alone now. Am I supposed to carry the whole of you can come back? But I expected you to come back with one beautiful white lady. Or a fiancé at least. Mm. Uh, yeah, I beg you. When they're all... Uh, there are a whole lot of uh, beautiful women in our land. No, no, I can't get my to one. So, I mean, you left all the beautiful white girls to come down here to my summer land. Well, the truth is, um, uh, my parents already have one for me, though. Yeah. yeah Your parents um, found a wife for you already? My brother, they did, actually. Did. And uh, we've not met in person, but they sent me a picture. I don't know. It's okay. You know, and I think I like her. <laughs> you think you like her? Well, I, I like her. She's, she's fine. She's gorgeous. She's classy. She's from a rich home. So, yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, indeed, beauty lies. The eyes of the Well, you can say that again, my brother, my little brother, my <laughs> So good to see you! I still have time so Hey, 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 hope you've not been jumping from one woman to the other. No, you, no, no, I've been you that I know, is it? I was taking you all the hangout spots. Ah. Incredible hangout spots, trust me. I trust you, man, I trust you. Ah, so good to be back here. You know, now, I'm in Nigeria, in Nigeria. The young boy! Yeah. 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 you can see what? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. 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 looking good! Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like that. It's still good to be home. Yeah. You're welcome once again, my son. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Your case all looks good on you. Thank 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 you. Ah, look. Mom, your husband just had an awesome. So, uh -huh. so young. Uh -huh. huh? Guy, yeah, I've not had so much in the longest of time. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, um, who's going to prepare such African dish for you over there? Uh -huh. uh, well, except our evil brothers and sisters who are restaurants, there, right? I know, I know, but guy, yeah, trust me, it doesn't taste as good as this. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's but so nice. Tell her here, the camera rest assured. Stella here is a wonderful chef. Thank you, Prof. I'm going to. I know. I know. But I'm still been doing great things. Oh, time! Yeah. I remember those days where she would make that ukwa and. Um... And Oh! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know it! So you still remember? You still remember? Stella, your magical finger. No, no, I'm not forget such things. No, no. Oh, no. Stella, how can my son forget something so yummy and wonderful? Ah, ah. Uh -huh. How can I put it down? Dad, no! It's not possible! 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 It's not <laughs> I'm surprised you know, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was a baller. I won't go there. Oh. Yeah, I go out, I chill. But I'm still a baller. <laughs> I love that sound. Can you miss for the future? Oh, that's not being with you. Someone's still with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so much fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I think we did it too for one thing. Oh, I'm holding you guys in. What don't you understand, sweetheart? I think it's time uh, to get to go see your parents and do the things for you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but before that, we'll have to do like three more things. Yes, we'll have to do 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 three more things. Yes, we'll have to do
I do big years in this community. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> How come you know a place as beautiful and classy as this? I told you. I told you I was a baller. <laughs> and I'm still a baller. <laughs> you Yeah, look. You know, when I was still in Nigeria, this was the place I normally come around with my best friend. I am Benson. You know, we came here now. We came to run things. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. You do? Yeah, I do. Nice. So, um, I'm seated here with the senator's daughter. A graduate of chemical engineering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you still remember? I don't forget things. I don't forget easily. Mm -hmm. So, um, sweetheart, tell me about your past and present relationships. I have no relationship. Oh, no, come on, come on. You can't tell me a pretty lady like you has no relationship or had no relationship. So. Okay, um, let's say I broke up with my ex because oh. I caught him cheating. Cheating? What would make a same guy when it's no more sense to cheat on a pretty lady like you? You know, I find the best thing is how that's a problem. He had the effort to sit on me with a low pack. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, frequently I ask myself. What do men want? Uh, well, if you ask me, uh, it depends. I don't know. I don't, whatever will make a guy or a lady cheat on his or her spouse, you know, could be peace of mind or disrespect. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, my parents have been together for the longest of time, and I can quickly tell you that what I've kept that relationship going is peace of mind, especially for a man. You know, and, and they respect each other. So I feel if you give me peace of mind and I give you peace of mind, this will go a long way. Mm. Yeah. yeah Sorry, my manners. Um, drinks, right? Yes, drinks. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> See, take it easy. The way, the way you go from this thing, it's no water, it's alcohol. Waiter! One more glass cup on bed. <laughs> Please, relax. The way you're drinking this thing, at this rate, you get tipsy and drunk. I'm enjoying myself. And I can't enjoy myself with fullness. Please, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. Oh. Hey. Have I told you that? Yeah. It makes me happy. It makes me feel on top of the world. But, you know? Because the rate you're taking it, it's too much. Welcome! It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's okay. This is fine. You've been taking about three glasses now. It's okay. Yes, can we go to the first place? Okay, that's fine. Come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Don't worry, I'm getting out. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm good. 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 I know, I know. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Thank you, ma'am. It's all right, I'll go back to work. Thank you so much. What is they give you on this boy? All on this back. Uh, you're here. Sweetheart. Uh, why are you worried? Ah, how was your day? How did it go? Well, so far, so good. You're looking worried. Where's David? He he drove out with Rachel. Now he's not back. Since when? They told me since 11 a.m. in the morning. 11 a.m. Mm. Ah. And he's not back? But I'm beginning to get worried. I don't know what could be keeping him out like that. So, have you tried calling him? No, I've not called him. Why no? Your only son left this house this morning and has not returned that. You are saying you didn't call his line? And you are just here worrying about it? Uh, 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 now, uh, maybe I'll try to call him now. Ah, I'm sorry. If you didn't try this time. I, I will have to call him when I get to I'm going more slowly, slowly. 
Me again, like okay. No, no, look. Let's just go home, okay? We can, let's look, we can always do this all the time.
Um, Dad. Where are you ranting? Sorry, Dad. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just had a little issue with someone. Okay. So where are you? Yeah, yes. I'm on my way home. Good. You better be. And I need you to be home within the next 10 minutes. Okay? Okay. See you soon. I'll see you. See you soon. Bye. I'm not going to condone this nonsense in my house. Let him come back and explain to me who raped him. What? Who raped who? That is what we need to find out when he comes back. Can't say. That means it was not rape like you claimed. David, how could you allow yourself to be used? Mom, Dad, I'll be Honey, what do you fear? I heard him mentioning Rachel. Are you believing? You and I know that Rachel can never do a thing like that. She's probably raised for crying out loud. That man is the one. How can you say that, baby? How can you say that about my Rachel? Rachel forced herself on me. She made me have sex with her. You look, know, mother, I don't want to have anything to do with Rachel. I don't want to see her close to me. I... How can you say that, baby? Honey? What is he talking about? How can my Rachel, with her fragile nature, Rape a full blooded young man like that. I, uh, I don't get it myself. No, I have lost it. Because if David can say anything like that about Rachel? No. But I heard him screaming over the phone. Maybe, maybe another Rachel. Not the Rachel I know. How could that girl grow? I said, I cannot wrap my finger around this. The possibility that Rachel raped our son? Honestly, I don't get it. Hey, where is that coming from? Sheila. Are you the one saying this? It means you don't understand your son. If David tells you something is black, you can take it to the bank. That thing is certainly black. Honey, you know that I am dazed. Honestly, I am. That Rachel could do something as the beast as that. I trust that girl with my life. Yes! If that girl can do such a thing, it means she's spoiled already. Honey, you know she lived all her life in America. And so? She allowed the American lifestyle to, her, to influence her own way of living? But what I really don't understand is why May did not tell us this on her bad side of the daughter. And she kept pushing her to her son for marriage. As far as I'm concerned, my son will never marry that girl. Only me. Don't say that. Please slow down. And like I said earlier, we really need to find out what transpired between her and her son. You can go ahead and do that. As far as I'm concerned, my mind is made up and there's no going back. Alrighty. Like seriously? So bro, how was your outing with your wife to be? Please, please. Benson. I don't want to hear you mention anything about wife again. Please. 
sorry, I don't get what transpired. Baby. Jukmal. Do you know that I girl drinks like a fish? Uh -huh. She drank a full bottle of alcohol right before me. Um, Dave, you've been my close friend for a very long time. Tell me everything that transpired. <sighs> okay. She got all tipsy. I was asking me to take her into the hotel shoot and all. And did you do it? I had to. This girl was creating a scene. And she was embarrassing me, man. I just had to take her out of the hole. Besides, you know I'm a shy person. <laughs> I know. So, when you guys got to the hotel, what happened there? Hmm. This girl was on me. Trying to take off my clothes. I was trying to, like, calm down. Relax now. You know these things now. Pretty they are. You know this girl was telling me that no, no man can ever resist her. No man has ever resisted her. Oh, uh, bro, it was not a small thing, no. Okay, you know what? Without even mixing words, this girl ripped me. <laughs> Wait. She raped you. How, how is that possible? I don't know. Why can't you run that drums? What? I don't even know. I feel like the girl was on hard drugs or something. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that Rachel raped you. Look, <laughs> it was me that passed through the experience. The girl hurt me twice. I had to chill till she dozed off. And I took to my heel. I ran for my life. Vin, this is very funny. Is this the kind of girl your parents want you to marry? You know, I was pleading with her to just calm down. This girl showed no mercy. Sometimes when I think about the whole thing, I feel disgusted. I feel, I feel ashamed. Because no girl has ever done such a thing to me. Yes, indeed. This is very disgusting. I mean, I, I, I can't even wrap my head around this. No way. What? I mean, what was the meaning of what on your head? And to think I, I recommended this girl for my own son to marry. I chose her for my son. And this is happening. No. This marriage will not work. I don't care whose ox is God. I mean, if David marries this girl, she's going to rape me one day in this house. Honey, I, mean, I just can't believe what I just heard. I can hardly believe it. I believe my son 100%. When I called him, he screamed on me, thinking that it was Richard that called. My love, in as much as I know our son, David is not a liar. But I have me who handled hand this carefully. Let us be tactical with this. Eh? He's here, who is Richard's side of the story. No way. I will not give Richard room for explanation. Let me take on No, I will not. I will not. Look, I, 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 I want the best for my son. Me too. Richard is not the best for my son. I think what I will do is I will just call him Senator George and tell him that his daughter has messed up the whole thing and that this arrangement will not work. I love him doing such thing. Watch me. No, not so so. No, watch me. Look, if David marries this girl, he will die before his time. My love, let us not be rash in taking our decision now. Let us hear from Rachel. Before we jump into conclusion, please. I will give Rachel no room for explanation. That is where he got it all wrong. I didn't need to know him for now. Now our son has spoken. Let us hear from the poor girl. Then 
concern. I have my fears. Which is? Look, when we did what we did, we did his protection. Okay, so <laughs> what exactly is your fear? That she could have infected me with STD or something. Huh. <laughs> well, I suppose we all have different fears. For me, I'm worried that she might come here one day and say you got her pregnant. Wait, question. Wait, could it be that she tried to scheme her way through to get me to marry her? <laughs> but my parents have already agreed to the, uh, you know, they had their own agreement on all. This girl just blew the whole thing out of proportion. Yeah, you're right. I think so too. So, um, tell me, how was the experience like? I don't understand. I mean, uh, <laughs> when she was playing with your balls, did you enjoy it? Are you crazy? Are you? Come on, tell me, bro. <laughs> Look at you. So, um, I won't do that when she was doing her thing rightly than all. I was morning in pleasure. Yeah. What's wrong with you? And she was weird, right? <laughs> wow. Wow, that means you enjoyed yourself. And that is not rape. What are you saying? <laughs> so many questions begging for answers. So, tell me. Do you have any injury around your private part? I have no bruises. What kind of questions are you asking me? <laughs> Well, for me, it was just two adults enjoying themselves. And my friend thinks he was raped. Really? <laughs> Can't laugh all I care. Oh, I know you enjoyed it, right? You enjoy it. Come on, babe. Wow! And what are you doing in my house for all? Ask you Since you have developed hard hearing, what are you doing in my house? Go back to wherever you are coming from. What am I doing to you? No, I am talking to myself, Rachel, or whatever they call me. Leave my house now. I should go. I'm here to see my baby. There is no baby in my house. Leave or I ask people to bundle you out of this house now. Leave. Why are you the right languages, mother? I am not your mother. I can never give birth to a well-born girl like you. Leave! I don't understand. Why do you... Pray nothing happens to my son. Pray you have not infected you with HIV. Or I am going to kill you and your third generation of kill you put to death. What is that? Oh, you're surprised. You raped my poor innocent boy. Rachel, to think I recommended you for my son to marry. What was I even thinking? Is this a woman you have turned into? A wayward and a cheap woman that sleeps with anything and everything. Just leave. Leave my house now. I'll push you. Get out! What is it? Is she in Oh my goodness! Get out! Yeah. 
and I've been looking all over for you. I even went to your room, you were not there. No, what's your name? I've been looking for that. I've not seen Dave. I mean, he has not visited since he came back. So wake up. Bro! You what? You broke up! What happened? No, something happened. No! 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 Switch and you promised me. You promised it will never happen again, Richard. What happened? No, I don't know what came over me. I told myself, drink. I was fucking too helpless. I was drinking and drinking and before I know it, yeah, it happened again. Oh, what? <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. Uh, have I told you he's a trained doctor just like his father? Yes! Pop mentioned that. I can't wait for him to come and whip up my daughter before he starts seeing other girls. Absolutely. Uh, I discussed that with Doc. He said they were not going to waste time. I cannot wait to see my daughter get married into that reputable family. Yes, uh, uh, with what I discussed with Doc, he said that the marriage is as good as settled. And I lucky. I feel like the luckiest woman on earth. <laughs> I'm the lucky. Rachel. Rachel! Rachel! Wow. You called me? Where are you? Oh. Yeah. Don't tell me you've just been here locked in your own fault. I heard I was talking to you. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't know you were talking to me. What were you thinking about? <laughs> Make me into that sweet mind of yours. No, 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 no. It's Tessera. Eh? Yes, yes. Tessera. <laughs> oh! I'm very tired, I have to go upstairs and then. I'm tired too. I'll be my room. <laughs> 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 Are you okay? This is more than fine. Dead into me? Yes. Okay. What about this? You see, my daughter, mm. you have lost so many men due to a habit that is beyond your control. A habit of drinking and forcing men to have sex with you against their will. Mom. Why are you bringing this up again? I promise this will never happen again. He said this after that incident with Russia. I made a promise. It will never happen again. 
Richard. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Richard. Yes, ma'am. This is one guy I love and respect so much. He's one man I hold in high esteem. Do not scare him away. The habit of sleeping with men on a first date should stop. He didn't see you as a classic girl that you are, not a whore. It will not happen again, Mom. You promise? I promise. I promise, Mom. You're okay, man? I begged you. I begged you to stop this habit of drinking, but no! You won't listen. No. I was helpless. Okay. We were both in his father's house where he said we should go out for a drink. But I was helpless. Helpless? Were you forced? No. When you were busy cooking the alcohol down your throat, were you forced? Nobody can force me to drink. Nobody forced me to drink. I drink because I like drinking. I drink because it makes me happy. Shut up! Shut your mouth! I drink because it makes me happy. I drink because I, you like drinking. See how messed up your life has become. You have lost your chances of being with a good man. All folks are not gone yet. Yes, there's always a space for second chance. So, stop getting yourself worked up. Second chance, you say? Second chance. This is two weeks since the incident. Neither Dave nor the mom has called either of us. Who does that tell you? Dave is just angry. With time, you will get over it and he will come back to me. I know that. Why don't we go and apologize to Dave and the mom? No! Oh, no! I can't do that! Why can't you do that? Mom, what I did to Dave is I'm unpardonable. I can't go there. Richard, Richard, you have spoiled everything. You have made things up for us. By now, your marriage rights and everything would have been completed. Yeah? Huh. I can't believe you lost Dr. Dave. My son, ah, in law. You can stop this, you know. You were not like this years back. Come on, You were not like this. I'm sure this is a habit you picked up abroad. But you can always change. Name. You can do anything once you put your mind to it. Come on, mommy. You can do this. I wish I can write my mom. You can't. Mom, you can't, please. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Just be determined. Oh, wow, who's this chick? She's so pretty. I'm just going to send you a request. I hope she accepts. I'm just 
my name again. It's Emma. Oh, Emma. Nice. Yeah, I wish you said so I could kick off something. Okay. We even go to our DM and send her a love emoji. Oh! Hey! Big man! How you doing? It's fresh as always, man. Thanks, man. How far now? Work is fine. I just got back from work. So I decided to stop my. Jeez, oh, gee, good to have ah, you around. This match is tough. Ah, Chelsea now, they collect. What is it? The Chelsea will always be. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's <laughs> pretty much. Hey, pass your ball now. <laughs> um, bro, I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. What are your plans? Do you intend to work at your dad's hospital or at the teaching hospital? For now, I'm just taking my time. Look, I'm in no rush, so I'm just trying to take it one step at a time. Well, there's a common saying an idle mind is devil's workshop. So, if you ask me, I'll say you work at your dad's hospital. That's a nice one. Mm. Uh, so. That's, that's, that's a good option, bro. Yeah, fantastic idea. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. There is this new chick I met on Facebook. Facebook? Yes, yeah, her name is it's Emma or something. In fact, guy, you need to take a look at her. She is super pretty. <laughs> bro, I'm sure you saw that. Bro. She's hot. <laughs> she's hot. Are these her pictures? Of course. I've been chatting with her for a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, bro, most of these girls are fake. What you see online is not what they look like in reality. Edited oh, wow. pictures. Um, yeah, please make my try and look now. Uh, well, our uh, message just popped back. You know, I told you we've been chatting. Are you serious right now? Yeah, so um, where can we meet? I need to get my own girl then. She just sent me a house address. My nigga! Let me go just change up, okay? Alright, let me go change up. I'll see ya. Be right back. What's up? Get a bit of something. I got it. Hi! Hi! Um, am I right? You must be David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you, Fatima. Ah, uh, my pleasure. Um, why are you hopping? Oh, I never oh, expected no, 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 no. Oh, that's nice. Uh, but it gave me reasons to smile again. Oh, what a feeling. Anytime I close my eyes, it's you that I see. What's that? Uh, I'm not uh, someone who likes sitting in public, so I don't mind if you would want to go into the suit so we can... I beg your pardon. What are you taking for? A whore? No. Um, I just thought we could go into the suit where, you know, we could discuss talk and other things. I. I just don't like prying eyes and I'm a very shy person. Did I complain to you? Why would I want to go into the hotel suit when I'm not doing anything wrong? Sorry, I just figured you'd need your privacy, nothing more. Um, see, why did you even bring me here? I'm leaving, but I'm I'm sorry. Hey, Emma, I'm sorry. That's why you guys just on social media, sending friend requests and love images to girls to vote them. See, I'm very different from this girl. I'm not like this girl, actually. 
It's fine, okay? Look, Emma, the fact I sent you a friend request is because I went through your profile and I figured you're really beautiful. Mm. And I fell hopelessly for you. Really? Yes. Wow. Like I said, I'm sorry. It was never my intention to. Stop patronizing me. You men are just the same. You are like every other man. All men are not the same, okay? They are still genuine ones. Anyways, um, what would you like? Whiskey, brandy, or something? I don't do alcohol. Okay, um, can we for the food? At this point, I'm not hungry. I just want to go home. Emma, well, I already said I'm sorry. It's never my intention to make you feel angry or something. Please. We just go here, and all of a sudden, let's go into the room. To do what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the door, okay? Thank you. Now, let me ask you, why didn't you tell me what transpired between David and our daughter? Darling, there's nothing to talk about there. What our daughter did was very awful. I, I don't even know how to talk to you about it. You mean if I did not call the dog, I would not have known what happened. I would not have known the idiotic thing that your daughter has done again. Darling, at least now you know it's not my fault. But you just poured the frustration on me now. Eh? Let me tell you, your daughter is spoiled. Yes! Well, I know she didn't take that from me. What is the meaning of that? Nothing. I haven't said anything. I only said she didn't take after me on that aspect. So indirectly, you are telling me that she got her waywardness from me? Ah. I haven't said so, darling. I have not said so. I only said that I know I am not wayward. Even you can testify to that. Don't know. Approach you look like this. Oh. No wayward. We're here. Okay, we are here. So, um, yeah, is this where you live? Yes, sir. Oh, wow, your dad is a rich man. Yeah, we left him last year. Wait, Chief Anthony, is your dad? Yeah, you knew him? Not really, I just saw a picture of your sister. How could I have forgotten that? Oh, wow. And mom? What, wait, sorry, what happened to him? <sighs> Tough heart stroke. So sorry. No, it's fine. It's already here. Oh, uh, what about your mom? She's fine, but she's not around. She traveled? Yeah, she went to United States of America for all my God. Wow, <laughs> I like the sound of that. And your siblings, hope you're good. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, okay. fine. Um, I need to leave now. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's talk to you on the phone. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I can't believe that I'm falling for this Is this love that I'm feeling? Oh, yeah That's on that end Why are you good to do How are you? I'm very well <laughs> How are you? Because so, well, it's fine, it's all school Very well Guess what? Guess what? My love what? We delivered a lady of uh, quadruplets today. What? <laughs> Four baby. Four. Oh, a life kicking her early? Of course. Huh? My goodness. <laughs> you needed to be there. Uh, you know, the husband, the family, 
friends of the family all trooping in and out just to catch a glimpse of the bundle of joy. Indeed, a bundle of joy. How does that come from? Oh, no, no, no. We deliver that. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I will come on my way to school tomorrow to pay that. Oh, that is very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you. And you have to be with me. Wow. Oh. Thanks for the kind gesture. You don't need to thank me. I just did something for the little baby. Oh, what a handful. Thank you for your kind heartedness. Okay? Can you should come to mom. Can you stop? Stop shouting me with ugly. How can I stop? My beautiful wife. You know, your type is rare to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you! Here we go. So, what do you have for me? A whole lot. Honestly, I wonder why you still insist on marrying this girl. Ah, I think it makes sense now. You want to marry her because of her family's wealth? <laughs> Hello. I'm not marrying her because of her family's wealth, but because of her family's name. Look, she's the last daughter of um, late Anton Kuchuko KK of AUO Motors. I'm sure you know that. But do I have to remind you that your family already has a name? So what other name do you want? Well, I just don't want to marry from a classless family. More reason I accepted uh, my mom matchmaking Rachel and I. And you know how that ended, right? <sighs> it wasn't funny. Prima is not like that though. You know, I took her to the same suite where I took Rachel to. I'm pretty sure that brought back a lot of foggy memories. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't bring back anything. I fell out with Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. I took Emma to that same place and I was still trying to see she would fall for the same gimmicks. Gimmicks? Yeah. Same place I took Rachel to where I ordered for her drinks. I had a little one. This girl downed the whole bottle. Drinking like a fish. Wait. <laughs> so wait. You got her drunk? I did not get her drunk. Benson, are you not listening to me? What is that to me? I said I ordered a drink. I had a little and... She... I started drinking it like she was a fish. I even had to tell her to stop, but she refused to stop it. Come on, man. What if she was a sister? Why would you do that? Wait. Benson, are you not listening to me? Why are you finding that? There's nothing to listen to, bro. What you did was very wrong. Why are you trying to make me feel like a bad person ah, here? I see. And then you will come back and tell me that she raped you when you got her drunk. Well, in this case, she didn't fall for your games, right? Because if she did, you would have said she raped you. Are you serious, Benson? Yes, I'm serious. Are you understanding me at all? Yes, I understand you and you're no, wrong. I don't think you get to, you actually get to understand me. Honestly, I, I can't believe your mother is trying to get you another girl. After what happened with the last one she got for you. <laughs> In her dreams. I mean, who does that? Except for Professor Gloria, who thinks this one is tough. Honestly, this is totally unacceptable. I mean, why would she think you're that? Maybe it's because you're very cool headed, that's why she feels she can toss you around like a petulant child. Someone is knocking, let me get the door. Hey, hey, look. It's my parents. I'm not here. I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find a peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions for who I want to be with? Benson, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. David did not uh, come back to the house yesterday. Oh, why? You left in anger and then uh, you didn't return. Ah, yes. Why did he leave that? Did you come here? Uh, no, I, I have not seen him since yesterday. Um, he's not here. Okay, well, you should see him. 
tell him to come back home, okay? Okay, sir, no problem. Thank you. Most times I wonder. chance to confront Dr. Alexander and his wife and ask them who my real parents are. Well, um, I think there's an ounce of truth there. Because why would a mother who carried a child for nine months torture him this much? You know, the same thing again to wonder. That way to just get to the house and confront them and get at them. What orphanage home did he pick me from? No, did they have took me for murder? Well, if you ask me, I don't think Professor Gloria is a biological mother. There's something really off about this. Because I see no reason why you would recommend to kill the creature to me. Mm -hmm. Where has he come to? Hmm? How can he just disappear into the thin edge of like that? No! Oh. Where is my son, woman? Come on, man. Just, just, just leave me alone. Let me think. Let me see. I want you to think after you chase my son away from my house. How? I don't understand where that is coming from. Like seriously? You are asking me how, Gloria? Why not in this house? Did I ask him to leave the house? You chased him away by not allowing him to have his way. Really? You want me to hold my hand and watch my only son get entangled with the daughter of a nobody? Hell no! He marries my son or no girl. And you who is me. that your choice? Really? Where is that your choice? Why can't you be reasonable for once? Why are you actively rational, Professor? Gloria! How dare you walk out of me? I will tell you that I am the last of this house. David is missing. What? What? Who's David? The David you know. Information has it that he drove out of his house two nights ago and is nowhere to be found. Dr. Alexander, his father, has been searching everywhere and all to no avail. 
Hey. What kind of news is this? Oh, my God. Dad. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. When you the house two days ago, I think it's nowhere to be found. I was reliably informed that Dr. Alex wants to go to police to report him missing. That's serious? Yes. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's not missing. He drove out of the house himself. But to where exactly? My dear, that is a big question. Something must have prompted that. Yes. Oh my God. I just pray that it happens there. I think you should call him then. Call him to show him that you care. Just call him to show him how much you love him. I think it's time for you to win back your man. Uh, you think so? Yes, my dear. I don't think it's necessary. Yes, David has moved on with his life. And I suggest Rachel to be sent. And uh, I really want you to drop this habit of drinking and uh, minizing. I don't even know where you took that from. She took it from you. Mm -hmm. She took out of you. I think you are gone. You are gone not for saying such. You think we don't know? Mm -hmm. You think we don't know what you politicians do? We know. What is your problem, woman? What is wrong with you? Huh? Why do you like accusing me of cheating? That is because you are a cheat! You will soon leave this house, woman. <laughs> Very funny. Me, leave this house. I go nowhere. I go nowhere. If anybody wants to leave this house, how should be you? <laughs> Very soon we'll know who the man of the house is. <laughs> Nobody is driving your position with you. You are the man of the house. But man of. Man of. Not going through, they switched off. Wait, are you sure that young man is okay wherever he is? Mom, 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 that's my worry. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know where he might be right now. Oh my god. Damn, 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 where are you? Dad. It's fine, it's okay, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, where is him? He's okay. He will be back. Oh no. He will be fine. He will be back. Oh, are you sure? Yes, he will come back. Mommy, let me try it again. Oh, God! Don't try again. 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 Don't more reason I have to put my phone on silent. Well, I think you're taking this to another level, Dave. Look, Benson, I know what I'm doing. I would not allow my mother to ruin my life for me. It doesn't work that way. Well, I agree with you. Because I really don't understand why she would stop a full grown man like him from having a say in his father's house. Well, I'm sure you will win. <laughs> of course I will win. The only thing is, I've tried to call Emma. Emma is not picking up my calls. She's not saying anything to me. 
I don't know why she would call a pretty girl like that a thing. That is a very derogatory way to address someone. Look, if I lose Emma, I'm just going to end it all. End it all? Like kill yourself? Is that the only way I can get to my mom? No, no, no. You're going too far, bro. I won't agree to that. I can't go where I'm not celebrated. Your mom is a no. I should make marriage miserable for me. Hey, mom. Okay, you know what? Just, just calm down. I will do something about it. Please, just give me some time. You know your mom. I invited me over. Please, Emma, Emma, just, just sleep, okay, just sleep, I promise you, I will do something about it, okay, I just don't want to lose you now, please. I, I can't do this, I can't, really. Emma, Emma, if you say you love me, as you claim, why don't you just stay and fight this cause with me, please? How long do I intend to fight? I don't even have strength to fight, let alone fighting my supposed mother-in-law. I, I want out. Emma, 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 look at me, please. I'm deeply sorry. I, I, would, I will fix this. Just allow me to talk to my mother or something. Just give me some time. Emma, my world revolves around you now. Oh, please, I love you. so sensitive to your pain. I want you to pick up the pieces of your life and move forward. There's a brighter future and you will find love again. Please. I know it's not easy but you just have to try. And this phase of your life will pass. Where is my soul going? Oh please, can you let me be? I am asking you for the opposite time. Where is David? The same way you do not know his whereabouts. It is the same way I may only worried about him. But you were the reason he left. That I asked that thing. He brought into the sitting room to come sit on my couch out of my house does not give David the, the edge to leave this house to only God knows where. So get it. Gloria, your excesses are becoming unbearable in this house. 
I mean, how could you call your fellow human being a saint? Does that make you a good Christian? Huh? I'm asking you, C.W. or Chelady, talk to me. My son will not marry another entity. A classless girl from a classless family. It will not happen. So, this is what it's all about. Class. Of course, yes. We know who we are and what we represent. Get that. Or this charity organization is not cut out for me. Okay, Professor. You've just drawn my attention to a pertinent issue. Now tell me, who was your next father before he died? Who was Okafo, your late father, while he was alive? A poor primary school teacher. That is who he was. Oh. Professor Mrs. Gloria Obiali you have suddenly gone down. Ah. Are you walking away? <clears throat> no, no, come back, go. Let us trash this class team out once and for all. Don't go. Perhaps you will have a change of mind and go look for my son. Your father was poor. I brought you to where you are today. I don't know why poor people, people from poor families, you always like to pride yourself. Buga, when you're nothing. Without me, who, who are you? I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find a peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions for who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things So, oh, love is from the hurt And not about the classic lovers Can I go for who I want? Cause that's where my head belongs Can I test the true feelings? Cause that's the place for myself I've been going through a lot in my life good. Gloria, why did you run? Huh? So you ran into this room to hide your face in shape, isn't it? Alexander, what is this? What is this? Why are you following me about? Leave me alone. I wouldn't leave you alone. I will not. Huh? Am I following you? Look at you. Huh? A, a, a poor teacher's daughter. That I gave life. Why you talk about class? Eh? I gave you life. It's a lie. I had a life before I met you. Liar. Which life? I married you from a very poor home. Very, very poor. And brought you up. Now, you are in a class that you can go. Because of that, you don't want the poor to break. Why? What do you do for me that no other man has done for you, the wife of no other person? Good question. I picked you from this slum and brought you to class. Alright? So what is your problem? Why, why are you like this? Why are you uptight to the extent that you want our son dead? We are not even sure if our son has killed himself by now. What is your problem? Come on. Talk to me, where is she? You, 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 you,
I am sorry for everything. <laughs> you, you'll be sorry for yourself when you start asking my question. What question are you talking about? Whose question? I will just go straight to the point. Who are you? You could say it. Good. What? What is what? The same question I asked you. Tell us who these biological parents are. Oh, oh, Dad. You, you think you think same too? I mean, with the kind of attitude she's putting up, I'm suspecting that we are not your biological parents. Alex, what, what are you even talking about? Why are you whining like a child? Where is that coming from? You caused it. So fix it. So, I swear that my late father's good. You are your parents. I better do you. I can't give my mom to my mom. That's you? Hi. Very cool. Thank you. Uh -uh. How are you? I'm, I'm very fine. Hi, are like you? Oh, wow. See, beauty. That's the way you wear this. Let's see this on me. I went for you, please. Yes. Hey. I'm telling you, I'm so tired. That's why I put everything up. I'm tired. I feel like I'm busy. Hi. Hi. Eh? How you come here? So, so what did you see me? I know that side. Like, so that... Uh -uh. Use copper and copper. Copper we. Copper we? Eh. Uh -uh. You know this that side? Eh. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't see me. You know So I get hope, Nabi. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I get hope. My mama can work too. Yes, so she did for my girl. She did for my girl. Hey, hey. Why? Let's go, man. Eh. Yeah. Uh, this time, eh? It's not a good day inside the bag now. Like always, I tell you, nothing will come out. Nothing, not only my clothes. I don't ever buy something. Yeah, it's money. I'm like, What's inside this bag? I'm not that side. Where's something good inside that bag? Next one. You think this is Jamboree? You think I'm talking here, right? You think I'm talking here? Don't you pull my head off? Pull no, 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 my brains! No, 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 Tell me, pull my brains, I'm now! Pull that thing away. You're going to hurt yourself. Put that money away, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Not your son. You cost me so much pain. You think in my way. Now she has got into the hands of another man. A man that proposed to her just with today. Why do you cause me so much pain? I am sorry, I'm not, I don't deserve your forgiveness. So find it in your heart to forgive me and I have sinned against you. Forgive me. I should forgive you. Now you tell us. Who are his parents? Unless we are his parents. You my mother. How are you, mother? You my mother. And yet you cost me so much pain. Do you know what I sent away? You do not let to Anthony who got to go take care of any of motors. What? What do you get to find out? What? Hey, what is what? I don't know. You mean is the daughter of a you Omoto CEO that you called classless? I am sorry, I didn't know. Ah. I'm sorry, after, after ruining my life. After taking away my happiness. Daddy! You're so. Daddy! Don't do it. Please, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a place. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is. Oh, God. I will not get you out of my sight, Emma. That's the truth, ma'am. I am not Emma. My name is Ijoma. You are Emma. You are Emma, my daughter. 
Doc, I think he's going through emotional trauma because of the happenings of it. You're right. He will certainly come around. Mama, please, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. Hey, hey, hey. Please, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I beg you, Thank you, David, for your wife. Please. Mama, I can't stay with David for a while. I, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. He's pressing my hand. He's pressing my hand, though. Listen, don't let me go to where you want to go. But for now, stay with him. Please. Um, Ijeoma. Huh? Please. Help David to his room. Okay, I will uh, send for a colleague of mine uh, who is a specialist in that area to come and look at you. Yes. Well, I think, uh, let me take you upstairs. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Just calm down. Let the can't go. Let the can't take you up. No, don't. Don't come inside again. All this one. Let's go. 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 Let's
Cherry. Let me never get boosted. I'm going to ask for money in marriage and I will live this kind of life. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Okay. Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Honestly, he's emotionally and psychologically traumatized. Yes, I know. Well, I advise you send him to a different environment. He needs some time alone. Some time to think. Some time to meditate. You know, he cannot travel now. He cannot go to the UK now. He just came back from London a few months ago. Yes, I understand that. But he doesn't have to go back to the UK. A lot of places he can visit. You never can tell, maybe he might find love again and feel better. I call this for my son. I am responsible for everything that is happening now. At least I should have allowed him to introduce his guest. Maybe well, that is why I would have found out that Emma is the daughter of Chief Sir Anthony Ugochuku Keke. I well, it's so unfortunate. And it is very wrong to judge a book by its cover. I mean, you are right. Yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. My name is Prince Benson. I'm the Crown Prince of Inuama Kingdom. What? Yes. Right. Well, that's why I said earlier that you don't judge a book by its cover. And you don't judge the content of a container by its container. I traveled all the way down to find true love. I really wanted that change of environment for myself. And that is why I was so happy when you found true love. But, Benson, no, Prince Benson. I don't think Emma loves my, my son that much. She doesn't love David that much. That was why she couldn't even give him to another. She ran off to get married another guy. Well, you never can tell. Hello, Emma? Who is this? That's a very funny question. Don't tell me you don't know who's on the line. Please, who is this? Well, this is Benson. Okay, Benson. What is it? How are you and how is your husband? Well, we are fine. Thank you. Have you tried calling Dave to ascertain the state of his mind ever since you killed him? I beg your pardon. I didn't jinx David. His mother was acting all I am mind free. I had to leave. Mm, yeah, his mother. You guys had a little misunderstanding and the next thing you run into another man and getting married to him without looking back? How could you do that to someone you loved? Am I that terrible? Why are you making me look like a bad person? His mother practically walked me out of the house and warned me not to come back. Well, David is in a very bad state now. He's locked up himself and he has refused to talk to anyone. Because if anything happens to him, I will hold you responsible because he's gradually losing his mind. Please, 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 Benson. Allow me to marry my husband in peace. What is this? What kind of rubbish is this? Hello? Hello? She hung up on me? Women. He loved her very much, but she never loved him. She was just using him. He never satisfied. I feel so sorry for him. The mother called me names. 
the last daughter of Chief Antonio Ugochiku Okeke, AUO Motors. Name, a pin. Please, please. Thank you should allow me to marry my loving Kennedy in peace. Uh -uh. I'm enjoying Abuja, it's just this is disturbing me. If anything should happen to David, I should better hold that of appearing more than responsible. You like it? Mm -hmm. I prepared this for you. See, yeah, and this salad, when I was in school, we used to cut it short, 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 short. But I said, let me try it and cut it later, leave me outside. I cut it long, long ones for you. I know you will like it. I hope you're mad. Wow. Eh, hmm. I prepared this special for you. No, it's only one simple one. Who is that? Emma. Can she come around? Yes, just eat. eat. She came around, how come nobody told me? Ah. When, when she came, you were sleeping now. I, I, I didn't want to wake you. You would have woken up so I can tell her how much I miss her. She promised to revisit. She getting married. How did you know? She told me. She told you? That's the more reason you have to let go. You are beginning to get everyone around you worried. You think I should? Yes. You let go. I am a woman. And I can tell you categorically that Emma or whatever her name is called, she did not. There was never a time she loved you. She was the only one who was in love in that relationship. No this and no peace. So if you would want my advice, I would want you to pick your life back. You have to stand up for yourself. I'm caught. Caught what? But the AC is on. I think I just need fresh air. Please can you take me outside? Oh, chill. What about the food? It will get cold. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions for who I want to be with? Uh -huh. Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? A full grown man like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See how do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See how do you know? And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. Don't you don't. You don't know who Emma is. I don't know who she is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? You come, you came out here to receive fetch air. Please, let's just walk around. Don't go inside. Get man. Get man, please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect your statement. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your gate. You want to go with me. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Married? Yes. That is the more reason you have to forget about Emma. And think about yourself. You are doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja. And here you are wasting your own life. I did not mean wasting your life. I mean, I mean, enjoying your life. Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. 
Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoons? Do you watch cartoons? Like, tell it to be. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with copper. Come here, do this. When the governor comes, sometimes the still show is our uh, cap. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. The <laughs> way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. It's not like. Okay, let me remove this one. It's like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And I'm in campus. <laughs> this particular sleep pass, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, we did cultural day in school. Ibo, Aousa, and Yoruba. You don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. He trains doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Hmm? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not. said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something, I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. I 
not just for you so that you will drink. Let me open it. Yeah? I bought juice for you, David. Bro. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Then why is what I want? You don't get me any juice. You keep calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her, <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you removed her. Oh, so I thought. I actually thought they loved each other, but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hold up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is. I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. So please just help me. Okay. Okay. Please just help me. Okay. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point, was double dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Oh, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh. Why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. Get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with copper. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes the social shoot. He's a cap. They have to chase for the governor. You know it, Abby. The <laughs> way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. It's not like. Okay, let me remove this one. It's like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And I'm in campus. <laughs> this particular sleep pass, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. You don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. 
I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... Mama, I want you to know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children? They don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they like it. You see that day that prophecy sorted again, when she asked her to get out of the house? That was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama, I'm a girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met him. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But prop her to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big boy. And she married one out of the other one. <laughs> Who won't do that? Mama, see, yeah, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men. Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David now, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, 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 choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after work, well, she won't have love. She has somebody to choose from. If it's like other oh, guests now that have not even seen somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, eh, eh, at least you'll not start complaining. But then they have two suitors. Eh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. Hey, Joanna! Good day, ma'am. What are you doing, ma'am? Blessed. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Okay. I want us to talk. Sit down. So, this is it. Um, Ijama, you are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC? Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before so that I can fully come back to his feet. But, Mom, I, do, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you desire for yourself? Um, Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportunity to, to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university, and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. I am, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun. If we jump out looking for where you'll be employed, I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. I'm sorry, Ma. With all due respect, Ma, I don't want. I want an office job. 
I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, it's your man. If it's not as if this is coming with nothing, I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you fifty thousand naira every week until David is fully back on his feet. Fifty thousand naira weekly. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like okay. But that means two hundred thousand a month. Yes, a so month can come with five weeks, so it's two fifty. How did she call you? For a job opportunity. To be a man is to be a man. It will never happen. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a man. What is that? Money you don't ask how much is this money. I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I told her I want you. Work in the office and do not come for work as a man. Good. Only oh, a man should consider David first. Hey, John, mm -hmm. whatever is happening to that boy is her, is her own business. She is the assistant of her own misfortune. He should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? You still are a victim. That's what she will be paying me. Uh, even at that. Yes, Mama? <coughs> 50,000 is too. <coughs> That's 200,000 a month. It does, okay. Even less would be 1 million. That's good. My school fee. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. I am really impressed. As your work as uh, Davis Nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much. Because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the, the work is happening, it's a heavy task. But you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it. That David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time I have not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We have to on the salary, right? And that's your salary for the week. 50,000 there. Oh, but please, can you take it for one moment? No. I'm sorry, ma. I don't... I don't need... No, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. But you worked for it. You earned it. Yes, I know. It's money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? Ma, please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. Ah, I, I am kind of speechless. Ma, please don't be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You and your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her, her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. If she thinks it, it's okay. Yes, I 
we both agreed on a plane has to take her out of Naira. At that point, she didn't say anything until today. I'm surprised. Same as me, because I was shocked in my own mind of what I heard and thought. Anyway, I've always known that girl to be a very good girl. Tell me, what does she say? Honey, have you noticed our some sudden improvement? That's the guy improved. <laughs> you're laughing. Hmm? It is your over behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you're laughing. Honey, but I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. Stop rubbing it on my face. Okay, I I hope you learn from it. Honey, once David Bounce is back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice. Whether from a rich background, whether from a poor background, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, I'm serious. Very serious. Ah, so, <laughs> how about uh, this? Uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey, hmm. do you notice something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me yet. Are you expecting any response from me? Which David? The one you know, what sort of person is that? David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Am I sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the surprise on his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. 
<laughs> this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course, course you see him. He will come back. He's not going to sleep there now. But he'll surely come back. Immediately I just left, he just left. Sure, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah, ah. So I went out and then he went out. Too. Sure. Yay! God almighty. That boy is so handsome. You young girls, you don't really remove your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, jump, 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 jump. You, you drama. Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like David. A handsome man like him. A man that has more of grabinos, you know. A man that is, you know, at Moby. Very fed man. Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. Mama, no, what is it? Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Hey, drama. Hey, drama. Hey, drama. How many times did I call you? Good. Whoa! <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's go and try it on again. Wow! Amazing! Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. You're a really good thing. Hello. Um, um, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David. Yeah. Okay, so what happened to you? Um, I just visited with you too. Mm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private business. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes, of course. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. <laughs> That's your mom? Yes. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more, actually. I don't know if I can take a call. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can just... I will just see my phone station and then drop it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll call you. Don't forget to call me. Yeah. Alright. Bye. 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 Yeah. See you. for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. You surely have one. Try to trust my prayer for you every day. To see if that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us. It's something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, Mama. David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. You, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just can't speak to that. Oh, okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll do my room. 
ओके बाय बाय सो हैप्पी दैट ही इज ऑन हिज फीट अगेन परफेक्ट इन जर्मा मीन सो आई एम हैप्पी
うん、そこに行くから犬はもう不正しないでって感じで。うん<笑>
Me particular thing as I had it for three years. You see, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, he bought house and Yoruba. <laughs> You don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... Whatever is happening to that young man is caused by his mother. His mother is a good cause. What is happening to me? If she had allowed these children to be, what is happening will not be happening now. Mama, I don't think. I think Emma did not love him in the first place. Who told you that? I had a discussion with him. Dave. David, what, what's going on? Bro. Welcome. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Ijoma, Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. But how, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? I don't know, his father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something, I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to me. I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open this. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. Bro. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. He's not getting any different. He keeps calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her. <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you removed her. Oh, so I thought, I actually thought they loved each other, but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hmm. That girl is scared. She hung up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is... I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He's, he really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that 
this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. Please just help me. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point, was dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Just wanna be happy. Oh yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers Do you do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like tell it to be I get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me. <laughs> In my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with copper. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still shoot. This is our camp. They have to chase for the governor. You know it, Abby? This is where I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Let me remove this one. Like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And I was in campus. See this one. <laughs> this particular sleep pass, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, we did cultural day in school. Ibo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> You <laughs> don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... Mama, I will not give you no good advice. For his predicament. The mother or Emma. I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children? They don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they lack it. 
You see that day that Prophet sorted that girl when she asked her to get out of the house. That was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama, I'm a girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met him. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But Prop had to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big boy. And she married one out of the other one. Uh -huh. Who won't do that? Mama, see, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men, Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And since uh, uh, David now, the mother was misbehaving, who wants to uh, 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 choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If you like other guests now that have not even seen somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, uh, uh, at least you will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors, and yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. Hey, Joanna! Good day, ma. What are you doing, ma? I'm blessed. Are you sent for me? Yes, I did. Okay. I want us to talk. Sit down. So, this is it. Um, hey, Ijama. You are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC? Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before, so that I can fully come back to his feet. Mom, I, do, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you design for yourself? Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportunity today to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. Um, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun for a jump point, looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. So, ma, with all due respect, ma, I don't want. I want an office job. I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, it's just. If it's not as if this is coming with nothing, I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you fifty thousand naira every week until David is fully back on his feet. Fifty thousand naira weekly. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like okay. weekly. Uh, that means 200,000 a month. Yes, a um, so month can come with five weeks. So it's 250. How did she call you? For a job opportunity. To be a nanny today. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money you don't ask how much is this money. I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I told you I want to work in the office. I do not want to work as a nanny. Good. Only one should consider David first. Hey, John, mm. whatever is happening to that boy is our, it's our own business. She is the assistant of her own misfortune. You should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? Mr. Larry, that's what she will be paying me. 
Uh, even like that. Mama, I am really impressed. As your work as uh, Davis Nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much. Because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the the work is happening, it's a heavy task. But you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it. That David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time he has not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We have to be the right? And that's your salary for the week, 50,000 there. Oh, but please, can you take it for me? No. I'm sorry, ma, I don't, I don't need, no, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. But you worked for it, you earned it. Yes, I know. It's your money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? Ma, please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. I, I am kind of speechless. But please don't be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You and your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for you. If she thinks it, it's okay. Possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you are laughing. Honey, but I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. I'm rubbing it on my face. Okay, I, I hope you learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice. Whether from a rich background, whether from a poor background, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Good. 
So. How about this? Uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you will be fine? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey? Hmm. Do you know this something? What? They didn't even talk to me. They didn't even behave as if you noticed anybody like me yet. Are you expecting any response from me? What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know, also the person you know. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Mom, are you sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the surprise on his parents' faces. When you are moving out, I am so happy. Hey! David, this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course, you see him. He'll come back. He's not going to sleep there now. But he'll surely come back. Immediately, I just left. He just left. Sure, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Uh -huh. So I went out and David went out. Too. Sure. Yay! God Almighty. That boy is so handsome. You young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, jump, 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 jump. You, see, Jama, Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like David. A handsome man like him, a man that has more of grabinos, you know, a man that is, you know, at Moby, a very fed man. Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. Mama, no, what is it? Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. How much time did I call you? Good. Whoa! <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, put it over try it on again. Wow, that's wow. amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. You're a really good thing. Hello. Um, um, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David? Yeah. Okay, so what has to do? Um, I just visited with you too. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private institute. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes, doctor. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. <laughs> That's your mom? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more next year. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can just... I will just see my for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. You surely have one. Try to trust my prayer for you every day. To so think that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us is something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, Mama. David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hi. You, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just can't speak to that. Oh, okay. Hi. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll see my room. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy. So happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Joma. Me too, I'm happy. I've come to see you, but 
I understand that you're working and I know that you need to rest. Hmm, no, no worries. I'll just um show on this a bit. Uh, what about you do? How are you? Um, uh, I just went out to go and get some things on the plaza. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. Anyways, um, uh, I'll get them. Alright. Alright, baby. I love you. <laughs> Alright. Bye. I'll call you my baby. Hello. Yeah, not quite long ago on in my room now. Uh no, you can't come to my house now and you know it. Look here, yeah, I know this is not good for us. My mom. Look, I'm my only child. You know what? I'll be on my way to you this evening, okay? So I'm out. Yeah, I'll get to you pretty soon, okay?
Hello? Hello? Babe? What happened? Babe, I'm so sorry. My mom just drove in and came to check up on me. Thought as much. Everything okay? No, 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 no problem at all. I'm fine, I was worried. Stop. I'll talk to you later. I'm not mommy's boy. She's just making sure I'm fine as well. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone now. We just quickly step in, have a shower, and get prepared to come see you, okay? I love them as much as they love me. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I mean, Ijo might give up a white collar job just to be with you and to see you get back on your feet. And I try to pay her back. <laughs> I see you've been around, Daisy. What's your name? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. My name is Ijoma. I'm Madam Tella's first child. Really? You're Madam Tella's daughter. You're really beautiful. Okay. Um, thank you for playing a part in that role, Ben. I owe you my life. No, you don't owe me your life. You owe God your life. Not more time. Mm -hmm. I'll repay your kind of thing, I was I was writing a check of one million naira so that's in 2010. I don't want 
No, I don't. I don't need. I, I don't want the money from you. I did not give it for the money. One millionaire. I don't. Know. I had to pay her back, but she declined. She refused to collect my money. Well, she fell in love with you, and that was why she refused the one million you offered her. I know. I know, but I just wish I never met Sophia, you know. Funny enough, I met her on my way to come see you. And that's how life just took a new turn in that chapter. And that's how life took a different turn, and I fell in love. Well, if you ask me, I'd say you focus on Ijeoma. She deserves all your attention. There's no need to double date. You know, she doesn't go to ask me questions. Like who I'm with, she doesn't care if I'm with anybody. She loves me selflessly. More reason she offered me her virginity. What? Yeah, bro. She gave you her virginity? Yeah, she gave me... I wish you the plot, but I didn't ask why she gave it to me. Look, I was on the call with Sophia the other day and she just got into my room and just opened up that Kobe body of hers. Bro, what did you expect me to do? Then why didn't you decline? Declined? Yes. Have you seen me, Joma? Oh no, oh no. Have you seen... Okay, no, no, you haven't. She's beautiful. Wait. So, let me ask you a question. If you had to make a choice, who would you choose? <sighs> Bro, look, I'm stuck in between. The Sophia on one end, the classy, beautiful, you know? The kind of lady I'll choose over and over again and this is your mom on the other end. Beautiful <laughs> in and out. Bro, look, I'm confused, man. Confused. Bro, I mean, it is ridiculous. You can't love two women equally. No, that's oh. the case. You want to be polygamous in nature? Your father was never polygamous. <clears throat> no, I'm not, you know. I'm not. Oh my god. What? What's keeping this guy? What's he keep me waiting for eternity? I have not told you that you can keep Rachel waiting. Fine, 
I know what you say. Where are you coming from? Ah, uh, I've been at Ben since I went to see him. Okay. Um, look, I'm so hungry. What do you have for me? Um, there's food. I'll just dish your food. Okay. okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Because I'm one of looking at you. Um, I'll do my own. I shouldn't serve your food in the dining. First century. David. Mom. You have a time for you. And it starts counting from now. To propose to a girl and bring her home to us. What is all this? You are 29 and still single. Besides, you are only child and the only male child of the family. Mom, oh, I know. That's why I said give me more time. Like, I'm putting things in place. Besides, I don't want to make a mistake in picking a spouse. It's, a good, it's going to be big trouble for me. And I'm not cutting for all that. So just give me more time, please. Unfortunately, David, 
you don't have time. I mean, look at us, we are getting old and uh, we need grandchildren. Of course, plenty of them. Okay? So, if you are finding it difficult to find someone to bring home, then I'm afraid we are going to intervene. And in that case, you will have to make do with our choice. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Dad. No, look. I will make my own choice for myself, please. Okay, just give me time. David, do all you have to do. That thing you ought to do, do it immediately. Okay. <laughs> Let me go. Honey, she's going to have better enter the car. I know what to do. Oh, Adam. 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 Go into the car. I don't want your brother to be okay? I don't want the window romantic issue. Let me get enter the car and go to the house. She's going there now. Let's go. 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 Dad. Hmm. Dad. Hmm. I, I, what is wrong with me? I'm fine. I know. I know. Let's just go. Let's go. Hmm? You are fine. I'm good. You are good. You are good. I'm good. I'm very good. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. You, you are good. Go. Aya, right, let's go. Okay, let's just go out. I'm taking you to go out. Where? Where? Going where? Huh? Go with you. Enter the car. We're going. We're going somewhere. Go with you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Dad. I go with you. Happy birthday. Sorry. Sorry, I was not able to make it. But I told you. My interview and your birthday clashed. Anyways, you stood me up yesterday. I was waiting for you to turn up. I didn't turn up. I'm sorry. Circumstance is beyond my control. I, may, I promise I'll make it up to you. It's okay. And so, where are you going? I don't want to step out. I don't want to quickly see my friend. I'll be back in a GF. Okay. Um, Ig, hmm? I have something to say. What's that? My my parents asked me to bring my dear wife I want to marry. Yes, the woman I want to marry. Really? Yeah, and um, I want to go give her some money so that she could. Get some clothes and look good on that day. You want to go give her some money? Okay, she, she, she doesn't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, congratulations to her. She's very lucky. <laughs> lucky to have you. I'll see you soon, okay? whatever is between you and David. It's not as easy as you're saying it, Mama. Ijoma, if that thing gets out of hand, do you know what will happen to us here? We will automatically be thrown out of this house. There will be no need for that. Unfortunately, he's already on his way now. So go and propose to the woman here. Who told you that? Who told you that? He told me himself. Enjoy. 
two of you are close to each other. Even the blind man feels exactly what you feel for yourself. His choice of choosing another person over you is what I don't really understand. And it is the reason you should just put an end to this whole thing. I love him so much, Mama. I love him. It's not easy. He has not gone to choose somebody over you. How do you feel about it? I feel so sad. I feel so terrible, Mama. If a two-player had told me that David, after confessing all his love for me, would leave me to go and propose to someone else, I swear I would have believed. I don't know how to express myself when I'm sad, but I'm heartbroken, Mama. It's okay. Why do you stay? Hmm? A good man will come ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Kill whatever feelings you have for the week. Happy birthday, my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how was your birthday celebration? It was fine. It was good, right? Yeah. You didn't invite me for your birthday celebration, so I had to wait here for you. But anyway, since you're here, I have a surprise for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I... I also have a surprise for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, you want to hear? Yes, of course. Oh. Um, I, um, my parents said I should bring the girl I want to marry for introduction. Me? Really? Yeah. So you're taking me? Um, as soon as I'm leaving here, I'm going straight to her house to give her some money to get some nice clothes. I don't understand. Wait, you? I should have known you're a cheat. So you've been cheating on me all this while? Really? Calm down. Why are you sorting out the board? I don't understand you now. You've been cheating on me all this while. Please. Oh, I see. You've been sampling me, eh? You've been having sex with me. Just... It's good. It's all right. It's fine. I mean, I thought you loved me. You kept telling me you love me, you love me, and you have someone else you want to get married to. Baby, look, it's, it's no, it's no... You know what? You're stupid. You are stupid. You're a fool. It hasn't gotten into name calling. Yes, it has gotten to that. You know what? Just leave my house. Okay? I'm done. Just leave my house. Leave! If, in fact, you can stay here if you want to stay. But I don't want to see you when I get back. I'm going to do something stupid. Stop now. Stop these tears. It's enough. Pop asked me to prepare vegetable and periwinkles. Let's get to work. You know it. If it is not done on time, you know how. She'll start yelling. I don't want anybody to yell at will you stop? I know what to do now. I think tomorrow when I'm leaving this house. Why? Okay, he shows I'm not over you. Did I not warn you? I'm after everything. Everything. It's so sad. I feel so bad. Hey, John. I told you, I warned you. Collect whatever monetary offer that is coming from that end. It's in back. Now you have lost everything. And you are tired. If somebody walks in here now and asks why you are shedding tears, what will you expect to tell That David broke my heart. <laughs> that David broke your heart. Can you imagine that guy? I see him. <laughs> Look at what he's doing. <laughs> really? I <laughs>
something I've been meaning to tell you. Okay. I know I should have told you this a long time ago. What is it? Say it already. What is it? <laughs> Tell me all this why. Uh, Dave, what's up, man? Oh, wow. So, how did it go? Um, did you tell the Gemma about it? David sent to me. David just sent me 300,000. He said I should use the 300,000 he just sent to me to get a dress. I've seen his parents this weekend. I don't understand. Is everything alright with him? I understand. I know that face. Why me? Why did you choose me? I mean, of all the girls you've seen in this world, of all the girls you've come across, with, you choose me? Me. I have been through so much in the hands of girls. And when I found you, I had peace. I am so glad that I found true love. That's all I've ever wanted. God. God, who am I? Who am I that you have shown me mercy? <laughs> you are a prince. You are a good lady and you deserve <gasps> it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm feeling hot. I know. <laughs> I know that feeling. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. What about your parents? Are you sure they will accept me? <laughs> well, at this point, they don't have a choice but to accept you because I choose you. Okay. But what about the princess, the princesses? I mean, your sister. <laughs> I have four siblings. So I'm the first. Three girls and one boy.
I don't know, like, I feel your parents, I don't know. I what don't... is it? Calm down, calm down, relax. Okay, hey, look. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, I love you. And I want to be with you. So my mother has no choice but to accept you, okay? So just relax. Hmm? I don't know, I just wish you were not perfect. I don't know, I don't know how to do Hey, 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 hey. I'm No, you should not. Just easy. Easy, okay? Easy, allow me to handle it. Okay? Hey, relax. Just calm down. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm scared. Sit down. Okay? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Have you just said that? Okay. Hmm? Calm down. Look at how good you can. You look crazy. It's so crazy. Wow! <laughs> so each job is finally the chosen one. Hmm. My friend, here he has a job to now. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. So happy. Hey. Relax. I need to just be like, calm down. Okay? You see them, so. Yes, I'm ready to go. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll see you all. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I found peace in you I found joy 